Oh, hella beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. As you can see from the title today, we are talking about Burberry Touch. I don't know why I broke it up like that. But listen, man, I talk about Burberry Touch so much, and I was going through some Instagram comments or actually messages, and someone said, yo, B, you talk about Burberry Touch so much, but you have no review for it, sir. Why not? So here we are today. I'm dropping Burberry Touch for Men fragrance review. Now the presentation for Burberry Touch for Men is pretty simplistic. It has this classic type of look. Now this one is a tester bottle, but I'll give you an idea of what the original looked like. So the original, the bottle was the same, but you had this black wooden cap that really went around the full top. Outside of that, this is what you get. I think the box for this one was like this blackish gray Burberry print. So if you've seen a Burberry print before, then you already know what to look for. Now Burberry touches this woody, musky, aromatic scent, and some of your notes in this are amazing. In the top, you have artemisia, you have violet leaves, you also have tree leaves and mandarin. In the mid, you have white pepper, you have Virginia cedar wood, and you also have nutmeg. And then in the base, you have some musk, and you also have some vetiver and tonka bean. So what does all of that mean? Well, that means that you have a 20 year old fragrance if you're watching this in 2020 and it still works. Yes, this fragrance has been amazing for me over the years. I originally started picking this thing up in high school and this was almost like a signature scent for me and others as well. But as the years has gone on, I continue to have this one in the collection over and over and over again. This one has been a lifer for me as this one has made numerous 10 for life videos and videos for the, the spring, the summer, etc. This is just one that I truly enjoy. To me with this scent, you're gonna get something that is extremely masculine, although this one is light and playful. On the top, when you spray this thing, you get some of the, that mandarin, some of that freshness there. You get some of the, the earthiness from the trees, but as it begins to dry down, this one just transforms into something extremely enjoyable. It also has this almost powdery type of feel that you get with it, and this will be a great fragrance to wear in um, spring and summer. Obviously, I've talked about that before, but this is also a fragrance that I opt to wear just year round around the house. So whether I'm spraying this thing on undergarments, if I'm just, you know, kicking it around the house in the winter time, this is definitely a fragrance that I just wear all the time. I think one of the additional positives on this fragrance, for me at least, is the change in the pricing. So I think as this thing originally launched, this was closer to that $100 price point, but in today's world, you can find this thing online for maybe 20 or 25 bucks, and for that price, and it is a steal. In addition to some of that wood and that musk and that powdery type of feel that you get with this fragrance, this is definitely one that can perform for you well in that hot weather. If you had a like, white t-shirt on, or even a black t-shirt on it, any t-shirt, this is t-shirt approved fragrance. Um, I really have been a true fan of this one. And although many people that I know in high school wore this fragrance and, and had it, they still enjoy it today. A lot of people that I've discussed this fragrance with um, talked about the nostalgia that they get from this fragrance, really taking it back to those high school days for them. It sounds so weird for me, man. A fragrance that was, uh, you know, all 20 years old at this point. So I was in high school rocking this thing and this thing is now like older than my son. That's weird. <laughs> Now, although this fragrance still totes the Burberry name, it doesn't have the same allure and appeal as it once had as, you know, this discount of life has really killed this fragrance. You can pick this one up at Walmart, you can pick this one up at Target, uh, Marshalls, any place for the most part, you can pick this thing up. You might even be able to find it at your local corner store. But um, the original name, obviously, with Burberry, it doesn't have that same high-end luxury feel as it once had, although the name still holds itself. Um, those who know, know this thing does not cost much these days. To me, Burberry Touch is a hidden gem when it comes to cheapy fragrances. It's really not hidden at this point because I I've mentioned it um, way too much <laughs> at this point. But um, for performance, you're gonna get something really nice, especially for its price point. For me, this goes between eight and 10 hours. It has 
okay projection in CRs, especially for it to be a um, fresh fragrance all in. You can expect this to pop off the skin for about two to three feet, depending on how many sprays you're going with this thing. And as it dries down, again, it gives you more of this powdery, fresh, clean type of feel, which still is masculine in my personal opinion. That being said, one of the things that kept Burberry Touch in high praise for me was its high compliment factor. On my skin and for me, this one has garnered me a ton of compliments. I've gotten a ton of compliments when wearing this fragrance over the years, which is one of the reasons that this one has remained within the collection. I have also felt compelled to compliment people when I've smelled this on them because I just think it's amazing. Again, this one is a multifaceted fragrance. You can wear it pretty much anywhere in my personal pain. You can wear this to the office, you can wear it to the gym, you can wear it out and about, date night, I don't care. Spray this thing on as I've worn them everywhere. Now, if I had to give this thing a rating over the years and what it's worth today, I would go ahead and give this one an eight and a half out of 10, all right? That's my personal thoughts on this fragrance. I know some of you out there may be like, nah, B, nah, B, it ain't worth it. But I definitely think that this one is. Again, I have a different love and relationship for this one, but I do believe a lot of people out there will likely agree that this thing um, is well worth the 20, 25 bucks you can find it for today, and the eight and a half would be a solid rating. So that's what I have for you today as it comes to Burberry Touch. I should leave it linked down below with all of the videos that I've mentioned this thing in. This one does work, trust me, you really won't go wrong with it. As always, I'm your boy, Big B, B, don't get the like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And you already know what I need you to do, just hit the goddamn Damn.